चैप्टर ट्वेंटी टू केमिकल कोऑर्डिनेशन एंड इंटीग्रेशन इन दिस चैप्टर वी गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट ग्लैंड एंड दे आर सीक्रेटेड हारमोन्स लेट स्टार्ट विथ आर फर्स्ट टॉपिक वॉट इज एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड इट इज अ डक्ट लेस ग्लैंड एंड नाउ लिसन टू मी दिस इज ए वन ऑर्गन ऑर्गन फर्स्ट दिस इज द ऑर्गन ऑर्गन सेकेंड दिस ऑर्गन ग्लैंड सिक्रीट सच केमिकल्स वी कॉल इट एज अ हारमोन वी कॉल इट एज अ हारमोन दिस हारमोन रीच वन ऑर्गन टू अनादर ऑर्गन बाय ट्रैवल थ्रू ब्लड वेसल्स नॉट एनी काइंड ऑफ ट्यूब डक्ट All right, guys. This term is clear. What is ductless? This gland produce their hormone and secrete it into blood vessels. And this blood supply this hormone all over body. All right. Next, their secretion are called hormone. Okay. Next. Now, what is hormone? What is hormone? Hormone are non nutrient chemical which act as intracellular messenger and are produced in trace amount they want to say hormone is not a nutrient like nitrogen phosphorus sulfur this is not a nutrient not macronutrients not micronutrients this is a messenger this is a messenger for what for growth for growth which kind of growth body growth guys all right next thing hormone work in their threshold amount what is the threshold amount this is a working amount if hormones more in body they cause disease if hormone less in our body they also cause disease so necessary that hormone should be present in threshold amount hormone should be present in specific threshold amount this hormone definition is also important for examination they give statement they give statement and pick the following options all right they give statement and choose this is true and false about hormone okay next we all know that we are vertebrates but in vertebrates are also present in our environment in vertebrate have less organized less organized glands so they secrete less hormone but human human are vertebrate we have advanced endocrine system we have advanced endocrine system well organized specialized structure all right guys let's continue look at here this is our human endocrine system this is our hypothalamus the master of the master gland this is pineal gland pituitary gland look at here look at their specific zones at the brain thyroid look at here thyroid gland look at here parathyroid thymus gland very important gland for immune system guys pancreas for pancreatic juice adrenal gland above the kidneys male contain testes this is the gland and female contain the gland the name is ovary all right guys let's start with our first gland hypothalamus look at here hypothalamus where where this part is located it is located in four brain our brain is divided into three part fore brain mid brain and hind brain hypothalamus located in fore brain at the basal part of diencephalon basal part of diencephalon okay hypothalamus this gland regulate all kind of hormones all kind of hormones all kind of hormones especially pituitary glands hormone look at here hypothalamus gland gives command to pituitary gland that release hormone hypothalamus order pituitary gland perfect at the perfect time 
perfect age and perfect amount he said to pituitary gland release the hormones and pituitary was happy okay sir i'm going to secrete my hormone so hypothalamus give order to pituitary hypothalamus gives all necessary order okay guys let's start it contains several group of neurosecretory cells which called nuclei hypothalamus hypo made up with made up with a multiple nuclei what is nuclei this is the neuron system this is the neuron system multiple neurons over there it control it sense it feels that we are in teenager life then these kind of hormone must release we are in adult then some type of special hormones are released those hormone regulate the synthesis and secretion of pituitary hormone i already told you that hypothalamus command to pituitary gland that regulate synthesis and secretion of pituitary hormone all right this term i previously clear the hormone produced by hypothalamus are two types releasing hormone and inhibiting hormone it means hypothalamus release two kind of hormone first is first is first is releasing hormone releasing hormone they kind of hormones have special feature for growth these hormones always provide cell growth cell proliferation cell division and etc and another type is inhibiting hormone this is also necessary why hormone work in their trace amount so they must be stopped if they goes into their beyond level so inhibiting hormone what they do they do inhibit inhibit excess growth excess cell growth they inhibit this is the inhibition sign they inhibit excess release of hormone they inhibit excess cell proliferation and excess cell division all right this term is very important your examination can be asked which gland release releasing hormone and inhibiting hormone or if they give this kind of sentence releasing hormone inhibiting hormone belongs to which gland this is also a question making area ready for this they also ask what is nuclei they can ask all right they can ask next here is some examples of inhibiting and releasing hormone must 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 important for example a hypothalamic hormone called gonadotropin releasing hormone stimulate the pituitary synthesis and release of gonadotropin it means this is the releasing hormones example example is g and rh gonadotropin releasing hormone rh releasing hormone this is the example of releasing hormone this is the one example of releasing hormone many more example but learn first this is important according to your ncert learn first your ncert and then switch towards next textbooks next references books all right clear very clear guys very clear you have to study the definition of releasing hormone then you write which stimulate secretion of pituitary hormone if they ask what is the definition on inhibiting hormone then you should write which inhibit secretion of pituitary hormones and they give some example of releasing hormone and inhibiting hormone first releasing hormones example is gonadotropin releasing hormone where it work where it work they are working process of they secrete gonadotropin gonad means what is gonad gonad listen to me gonad means genital organ male have their reproductive organ and female also have their reproductive organ we call it as a gonads male gonads and female gonads male gonads like testes vas deferens prostate gland penis and female gonads like vagina uterus fallopian tubes ovary and eggs these are female and male are different or, gonad organs all right so g and rh releasing hormone secrete gonadotropin and gonadotropin reach at this gonads reach at that particular specific gonads and work on it and work on it means there is hypothalamus there is hypothalamus thalamus they gives order to pituitary gland 
he said pituitary to release gonadotropin releasing hormone so gonadotropin releasing hormone release gonadotropin and gonadotropin work in both male as well as female they grow gonads in male they grow female gonads in female clear guys let's start with other example of inhibiting inhibiting the inhibiting example is somatostatin look at here this is the example of inhibiting hormone what he do what this hormone do let's see i am writing here somatostatin inhibit this is the inhibition sign guys inhibit growth hormone means this is the also a hormone growth hormone growth hormone it provides growth for organs so somatostatin come and inhibit this hormone this thing somatostatin do this is also necessary guys excess amount and minimum amount both are not required according to hormone hormone function in their stress amount okay so releasing hormones example is clear definition is clear somatostatin definition clear this is the example of inhibiting hormone so inhibiting hormone is clear and their definition is clear their example is clear somatostatin how it works the ncrt said that it is released from hypothalamus and provide provide signal to axon and this axon first provides signal to next axon and this provide to next axon and this provide to next axon means signal provide first axon to second axon second axon to third axon third axon to fourth axon and finally reach to pituitary gland and order this signal arise from hypothalamus we know hypothalamus provide signal signal catch by axon first then axon second then third and fourth and reach to pituitary gland and pituitary gland accept their order and release somatostatin and this one goes and inhibit growth hormone okay guys so this paragraph is clear hypothalamus this is our first gland this is i hope clear so next gland we will start in next video so guys if you like my lecture then please subscribe my lecture and thank you for listening me keep smiling i repeat please subscribe my channel thank you thank you for listening me guys